you have anything to fucking say? What the fuck do you want me to say? It's not like you fucking listen to me. I swear to God, I swear you just do not care about Ursula. Anyone in the family? Are you me? No, you don't care about anyone like you yourself. You're so not asking me to lose your mind. Oh my God, I don't know. You don't want me to lose your mind. You don't want me to lose your mind. What the fuck do you want me to do? She's talk. calling it. She's calling it. Today I found a friend who knew everything I felt. He knew my weaknesses and all of the problems that I've been dealt. He understood my wonders and listened to my dreams. He even listened to me talk about love and life and knew what it all means. But not once did he interrupt me or tell me that I was wrong. He knew what I was going through and promised he'd stay long. So I reached out to this friend to show him that I came. To pull him a bit closer and let him know how much I needed to live. Uh, I went to hold his hand to pull him a bit nearer. And I realized this perfect friend I found was nothing but a mirror. does the word mean to me? Love is hurt. Love isn't patience. Love isn't kind. Love is pain. I cry every night over the past. I cry because of the things done to me, because I didn't say no. She couldn't say no, and now she's seen differently. She is seen as the whore, the slut, the one that everyone has been with, but no one sees the pain behind her eyes. No one knows, because she doesn't want any pity. She just wants to keep moving on and living a new life. And maybe that's where the wild side comes from. Because she drinks to forget, and she smiles not to cry, and she laughs 
hold back the screams. Because each passing day, something else is breaking, something else is burning, and something else is dying inside of me. But hey, pretty girls don't cry. On my knees, waiting by the door, watching my tears trip onto the floor. Why is no one in this house? I walk in my mom's room and see her dirty blouse. The one daddy especially loved. The one she wore on Christmas Day watching me and my sisters play. But that's all memory so great. Now I'm just on my knees, waiting by the door, watching my tears drip onto the floor. When is my sister coming back? I hope she hasn't come home smelling like a pack. I hope she's taken her medicine so her mind doesn't go back to black. Hate being on my knees, waiting by the door, watching my stupid tears drop onto the floor. I pray, I know you're there, but why has nothing changed? Sitting at school, hiding it, wanting an escape. How much time is this going to take? That's all a distant memory now. The person I've become, the growth it's allowed. Now I see the meaning of my tears on the ground. I want to know her. I want to know what childhood memories led to the permanent darkening of her knees, or what caused the teddy bear-shaped scar nestled between her shoulder blades. I want to climb inside of her mind and see her memories on a photo reel, to know what makes her laugh at some things and cry at others, to know the building blocks of her personality so that I may build us a home to live in. Her experiences and mine side by side intertwined, creating the foundation and four walls so that we may live inside and decorate with the memories that we create together. You don't understand. How am I supposed to understand anything if you don't ever fucking talk to me? I don't want you to see it. See what? Could you just fucking talk to me, please? You want me to talk? Yes, that is all that I want from you. Want to know what I want? I want to hurt. I want to hurt and keep hurting until the hurting stops. I want the hurt to drip off of me. I want it to pool under my feet as I watch it drip, drip, drip. I deserve to hurt. I deserve to hurt and keep hurting until the hurting stops. I deserve to ooze. Pain and suffering, I deserve to drown in my own hurt! Drip, drip, drip. Oh, 
Hold on. Wait. Wait. I didn't mean it. Make it stop. Someone make it stop. Faster than you ever thought possible. It pulled and splattered, and I laid face down, drowning. my good days. Yellow was the color of your face when you laughed, the color of your belt in the summer, the color of the sun reflecting off of the lake. Yellow was the color of love. <laughs> Yellow was the color of the flowers in front of your house. But now, the sun has been eclipsed. And it is dark. The flowers are dead. And I see only black. Christmas has passed and the tulips are wilted. I see our love, but somehow it's black. black. It's the color of my bad days. The color of the boat in the winter, the color of the water when it's cold. color of my loneliness when the sun sets. I miss the yellow, the warmth it holds, the way that the best and brightest shades are often as unseen as the smallest fish in the lake. Our love was the best and the brightest was unseen, invisible. It was neither yellow nor black. Nothing. Our love was nothing. The colors not existed. It was neither hot nor cold, day nor night. Just nothing. No. Sometimes I long for love. The feeling of something. I want to feel and know that I'm still alive. But mostly, I miss yellow. The way it bounces off of your skin after it reflects from the lake. The way your face looked when you laughed. And the way we all felt that day on my boat. Far too long, I allowed you to live in my head. Stupid, young, and mentally red. For far too long, I forced myself to believe I didn't hate you. For far too long, you belittled and degraded me. For far too long, I woke up every day and came 
painted a smile on my broken face. No true home, no safe place. For far too long, you broke me down so you would feel like the most powerful person in the room. Trapped in my mind in an endless gloom. For far too long, I was afraid of looking anyone in the eyes, afraid of seeing you and hearing all of your lies. For far too long, I've been trapped in my head behind a brick wall of damage that you didn't want me to see. For far too long, I sat with these thoughts, these words, this baggage, this pain. For far too long, I wanted to be blind so that I couldn't see. But now, I know exactly who I need to be. I know who comes first. And I know now that that is me. Hi, love. It's been nearly six years since we decided to let each other go. These six years have passed by so quickly I haven't even seen you. I'd like to thank you for being so persistent. Thank you for your arms and your ears. You say I get attached to memories and that I end up destroying my wings, but if I trash everything, it's to see how beautiful my life is. You gave my happiness a taste of eternity. I thought nothing in life was constant, that the waves of life only led to somewhat random fluctuations, but with you, chance was like a summer. I know nothing, Rod. Only the smoke from my cigarette reassures me. You tell me that you were looking forward to life by my side. I only dreamed of us. I was never so close. And now I know I lied to you when I told you that I loved you forever. You know I lied when I said I couldn't live without your love. And I wasn't expecting such a sudden break. And yet it was I who left. It was I who fled to the plane. Two roads diverged to the yellow wood, and sorry that I could not travel both and be but one traveler. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could until it bent into the undergrowth. And then I took the other, because perhaps it had the better claim. It was grassy and wanted for wear. Both that morning equally lay in step, in leaves though step had trodden black. Oh, I saved the first for another day, but knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall tell this with a sigh, ages and ages hence, for two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Make me stay. I went into the world 
shocked by mad winter. My eyes sparkle, my cheeks flat. I must leave. I care about you so. Make me stay. What am I to do? Shocked by mad nature, new experiences, unexpected hurt, my cheeks flat. This isn't how it's supposed to be. I care about you so. I must grow. What am I to do if it's not with you? New experiences, unexpected hurt, unconditional love, it should have been. Blindsided, foiled with love. I must grow, discover internal love. If it's not with you, let it be so. I went to hold her hand, to 
hold her a bit nearer, and I realized this perfect friend that I found was nothing but a mirror. Two robes diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could, where it bent in the undergrowth, and took the other as just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and one to wear, though as for the passing there had worn them really about the same. And both mourning equally lay, in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I... I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Nature's worst dream is old. Her, her heart is pure cold. Her early leaves of lavender play on the sorrow now. Through the trees beside so deep, so even safe to breathe. So dawn goes down today. Nothing gold can stay. For far too long, I allowed you to live in my head. One misstep. Stupid, young, and mentally dead. Apology. For far too long, you blamed me for the way I was treating you. One fuck up. For far too long, I forced myself to believe that I didn't hate you. Apology. For far too long, you belittled and degraded me. One wrong move. For far too long, I woke up every day and painted a smile on my broken face. Apology. No true home, no safe place. You say you hated what I did. Now. For far too long, you broke me down so that you felt like the most powerful in the room. But I've been broken to believe I need to. Trapped in my head in an endless loop. I must apologize for grieving. For far too long, I didn't look anyone in the eye. For I am not worth the air wasted on you. Afraid of seeing you, hearing you in all of your lies. I must apologize for existing. For far too long, you tried to reshape me into the person you wanted me to be. For I am not worth the space I occupy. For far too long, I've been trapped in my mind. And I must apologize for bothering you behind the brick wall of damage you didn't want me to see, because by no means am I worth your time. For far too long I sat in these thoughts that you see as annoying and unnecessary as words. I see as an obligation as baggage. How do you find frustrating this? I find essential. For far too long I wanted to be blind so that I could not see. I am not worth anything that I have. But from now on, I know who to be. For that reason, I must apologize. I know who comes first. And I know now my existence is insignificant until proven otherwise. But it's me. I am sorry! For letting me the people of my head, for believing the people of my past, for giving up before you got 
here. I will get better. Just give me time. But for right now, Our secret garden. Golden streaks gleaming brighter than the sun's glow. Delicate flowers began to bloom, but their petals struggling to grow. Fresh and marvelous aromas dance across the secret garden stems. The colors ever so divine. If only I knew these fabulous flowers were never mine. I already recognized the black rose's thorn. In this darkness, our secret garden mourns. If only I had watered the plants among the leaves of nature as I was told. I could already see how our secret garden story would unfold. Nevertheless, the black rose began to bloom, its petals obliterating everything in sight, its wicked power dimming all of our secret garden's light. I endeavored to stop this great evil, hoping to restore our new home's unity. But the black rose malevolence encompassed the secret garden, murdering nature's opportunity. So I fled far away from where our great home once stood, knowing someday I would return to allow the flowers to grow the way I never could. I want to hurt. I want to hurt. Keep hurting until the hurting stops. I want the hurt to drip off of me. I want it to pull under my feet as I watch it drip, drip, drip. I want no hurt. I deserve to 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 hurt. I
when you laugh, the color of your boat, the color of the sun reflecting off the lake. Yellow is the color of love. Yellow is the color of my birthday, the color of Christmas, my happiness when you open presents. Yellow is the color of my first iPod, the color of the flowers in front of your house. I Lantern, enter our secret garden, golden haze gleaming brighter than the sun's glow. Shower the flowers begin to blossom with the petals struggling to grow. Fresh and marvelous of ruins, stands their soft cheeks sparkling. The colors ever so divine. If only I knew the time those flowers could arrive. I already recognized the black of the story, and in this darkness, the secret garden more.
one inside. I find that's an obligation. When you find frustrating, I find essential. I do not want anything that I have or that reason. I must apologize. My existence is insignificant until proven otherwise. And I'm sorry for listening to the people in my head, for believing the people of my past, and for giving up before you got here. And I will get better. Give me a break and please don't leave this in peace. Spoil the love. Oh, how I miss yellow. The warmth it holds. The fact that the best and brightest shades are often as unseen as the smallest fish in the lake. Our love was the best and brightest. It was unseen and visible. Think, baby, in your arms and your ears. You say that I get very attached to memories and that I end up just trashing my wings. I would trash them over and over and over again. I can see how beautiful this life is. Thank you for being able to give our life to my happiness. It is so tiny. But now the sun has eclipsed and it is dark. The flowers are dead. Christmas has passed. The tulips are wilted. I see our love. And somehow, it's black. On my knees, waiting by the door, watching my tears drip onto the floor. Why am I the only one in the house? I walk into mom's room and see her dirty blouse. The one that daddy especially loved. The one that she wore on Christmas Day, watching me and my sister play, but now that's all a memory so great. Now I'm here, on my knees, waiting by the door, watching my tears drip onto the floor. When is my sister coming back? I hope she comes home not smelling like a pack. I hope she's taken her medicine so her mind doesn't go back to black. I hate being on my knees, waiting by the door, my stupid tears on the floor. I pray, and I know you are there. Why is nothing changing? Sitting at school, meeting an escape, how long is it going to take? It's all just a distant memory now. The person I'm becoming, the growth, this is allowed. And now I see the meaning of my tears on the wall. Black is the color of my bad days. Black is the color of my boat in the winter, the color of the water when it's cold. Black is the color of my loneliness when the sun shines. Uh, what does that word mean to you? At this point, nothing. Love is hurt. Love isn't patient. Love isn't kind. Love is pain. I cry. Every night over the past. I cried because of the things done to me. I cried because I couldn't bring myself to say no, even when I could the one to tell people that no means no. If you're hurting, leave. Leave the strongest girl can tell. She couldn't say no, and now she's seen differently. She's seen as the whore, the slut, the one who's been with everyone, but no one, no one knows behind those eyes. No one knows the tears that come out each night. No one knows. Because she doesn't want to cause me more pain. She doesn't want pity. She wants to move on and keep living a new life. Maybe that's where the labels came from. Maybe that's where the wild side came from. Maybe that's also where the most hurt comes from. Because she drinks to forget. She smiles not to cry. She laughs to hold back the screams. And with each passing day, something else is breaking. Something else is burning. Something else is slowly dying inside of her. But hey, pretty girls can cry. I deserve to be hurt. 
and it starts to hurt, and it keeps hurting until the hurting stops. You can't hurt me for that. Make it stop. 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 For far too long, I allowed you to live in my head. Stupid, young, and mentally dead. For far too long, you blamed me for the way I was treated you. For far too long, I had to force myself to believe I didn't hate you. For far too long, I woke up every day and you didn't smile on my broken face. No true home, no safe place. For far too long, you broke me down so that you could be the most powerful in the room. Trapped in my head in an endless gloom. For far too long, I didn't look at anyone in the eyes, afraid of seeing you, hearing you and all of your lies. For far too long, you tried to reshape me into the person you wanted me to be. For far too long, I had been trapped in my mind behind this brick wall of damage you didn't want me to see. For far too long, I had sat with these words and these thoughts and this pain and this baggage. For far too long, I wanted to be blind so that I could not see. But from now on, I know exactly who to be. I know who comes first, and I know now that is me. Your knees are broken. It's hard to see. But you start to hear taking and stay. I must leave because I care about you so. I wish I could stay, but please, every day. I care about you so, but if we are apart, you can finally grow. You must grow, she must grow, we all must grow. In winter, in a long field, in a way that is not for you. See, you know. Sometimes I long for black. I want to feel something. I want to feel and know that I'm still alive. But mostly I miss the hell. I miss the warm, comforting feel. I miss the way that the sun bounced off your face after reflecting off the lake. I miss the way your face looked when you laughed. I miss the way we all felt together that day on your boat. 